Okay, girl, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I just finished my workout and I look like shit, I know. But since I look like this, I got inspired and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just tell you the story about one time that I was like awake for four days straight and I was partying. Busted, first work at Remini got busted uh, by police. I'm gonna tell you everything day by day, don't worry, we will talk about that later. So I found another place in, um, you know, um, it was a small uh, studio and it was um, work related to buyers from abroad with the brands like, you know, Dolce Gabbana, and all of that, big brands, huge brands, etc. Well, I was working with them. It was an export of huge brands, okay? So, Salvatore Ferragamo, I don't know, you, you could see Chanel, you could see Prada, you could see everything. And I was there working with uh, the biggest brands for the buyers. So, the thing was like, um, I was working from Italy and I was uh, speaking with the customs, etc. Yes, and I was 22 at that point, so you can imagine. What happened is that uh, knowing a lot of languages, you actually open yourself a lot of doors. And I, um, I was working with uh, one lady, which was uh, very nice. From the start, she was very nice and I appreciated that because it was the opposite of my ex-work in which I just literally didn't appreciate it like much. But with time, like after a month or so, she started to be a little bit jealous because she was working with her boyfriend and the boyfriend didn't want to like marry her and she was frustrated every time that her boyfriend was like out with a female buyer you know because all the buyers uh, were coming from abroad and some of them they were like amazingly beautiful girls amazingly beautiful ladies so you know he was like along with them and she got always frustrated about that so when she was frustrated about that she wanted to take it off on someone and um, I was always under her hand so she started with the small things like oh today you don't look that perfect as usual or she might say ah oh, you know you maybe have a gray hair up there uh, you should uh, dye your hair uh, or for example oh today your um, makeup is not on point you you have to do a better job because we are working internationally this is not your previous job so you have to you know upgrade or uh, she was telling me that I'm too fat for this job or that I gain weight or you know all of these things that they were like a little bit uh, not that amazing but it was a little bit shade like she was shading me let's let's just say like that to one point because at the end of the story i just quit that job so there was um, a period of ponte ponte is when uh, um you have for example four days free so example wednesday or thursday or friday it's like a national event or the national celebration so all the businesses has to like sh be shut but uh, we were working like literally 24 7 so I'm already being forged you know with all the buyers because the buyers uh, were coming abroad so they didn't care if something like uh, Italian people were celebrating XYZ days they were just like I'm here and we have to do business and I understand them because from my side I understand a lot of people who are just like having their own business I have my own business so you already know what it is okay so one of the buyers came on this period and she was an ex model she was beautiful the amount of beauty that I seen in this girl I never seen in anyone else like she was tall she was great she had the greatest figure and she was like literally like a living doll and she had a baby girl like i was like how 
weird <laughs> like I was shocked but she's like no no I'm a mother and all of that and she was like 22 like me but she was coming from a background in which uh, her family was wealthy so you know even better for her god bless her so she came and she wanted to open her boutique but she came in the period of Ponte so we were like okay it's not a problem we are gonna take care of you we are gonna put the down the um, uh, the orders and everything and we are gonna make the offices or the showrooms open just for you it's not a problem so we are talking about thousands and hundreds of euros so you already know what it is so she's like okay since i'm here in italy i want to party and since we were in Rimini, the capital of the international party scene, we are like, okay, but obviously my, uh, my boss, she was like super against it. She was like, no, no girl, you ain't gonna go anywhere. You're gonna go to work and you're gonna, you're gonna finish it off in uh, this four days, it, which was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and also Monday, four days. So we made a plan in like five minutes, which cities to go, which showrooms to go. So also Rome, Milano and all of that was there. And uh, Firenze. So Firenze, which is Florence. Mm -hmm. Okay, we made a plan and we start to go to uh, like the first place. So we went to all the showrooms in XYZ city and then after that she's like, you know what, but I just don't feel like, you know, I'm the first time here in Rimini or the first time here in Milan or first time here in Florence or uh, so she's like, I don't, I just don't feel like sitting in the hotel and nothing. So I'm like, Baba, wait, I will call my friends, we will party. So obviously imagine so after the work after everything that we that we order we are going back to the hotel we are taking shower and we are going out we are going out we are doing aperitivo aperitivo is when you are drinking something chit chatting and then you eat small small things uh just to you know calm down the after all of this uh, mess of the day and it usually starts like from 6 till 8 or till 9 at 9 you go to eat like a supper and then after the supper at midnight at 1 o'clock after the coffee you start to go out and you start to party so first day we went to party and literally there was so many people around her that's like you know these guys that latin lover and all of that they are like oh give me your number and all of that i i literally had to go with the sticker I'm like, eh, 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 go go <laughs> so i was her like uh, <laughs> um security guy and uh, after that, obviously one club, another club, third club, fourth club, etc. We always finish it like at six o'clock in the morning. At six o'clock in the morning, you're taking the cab and then you're going back to the hotel. The hotel, you start the breakfast at seven o'clock, 7.30 and something, but we always started like more or less at seven. So obviously like when you arrive and you're kind of hungry after all night of partying, uh, you just look at uh, this buffet and you're like, we are going to sleep or we are going to eat. Uh, so obviously we are sitting, eating, chit-chatting, blah, blah. I know so much about her life. And after that, we are going to shower and we are going to another city. So basically we slept from uh, like uh, that, wait, all that while the my boss were calling us from Rimini and saying, oh girls, everything is okay. I'm like, yeah, 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 everything is okay. She's sleeping and she's partying basically on the, you know, the bar stand, she's partying and she's doing her, her thing and I'm like yeah yeah she's she's sleeping and she's like oh okay but what's that music I'm like um I like music when I work out inside the hotel room so 
first day Rimini, then Milano, then Firenze, then Roma. Four day, day after day, and we were just exhausted. We are literally sleeping in the train day by day. But the train obviously is like one hour, two hours more. One train, we missed the, the exit and we finished in Napoli. <laughs> So basically at Florence we continued to party and then we had the train to Rome the next day at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we were just so exhausted we overslept the exit and who is an Italian knows that if you miss your exit and you will stay uh, on the train and they will catch you there is a fine of minimum 50 euros and maximum 200 or something right now I don't know so basically what happened is that we missed the exit we missed the exit and uh, we basically overslept and we just woke up in um, the, it, it was a fast train so we we woke up in Napoli so we wake up in Napoli obviously we paid the fine and then we are like going uh, to take the other train but we are looking at each other we are like so what are we gonna do and she's like, let's just eat breakfast and then let's go back. <laughs> so we took the breakfast in Napoli. We bought half of the bar of the station. They have an amazing food in Napoli. So then we buy half of the bar in Napoli. We are loading every food possible with us in the train back. And we are going back to Rome. Obviously we, we are like totally exhausted totally wasted like even though neither me neither she didn't drink anything because I'm against the the alcohol but still 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 we were exhausted after like I don't know how many days of party so we arrive we are doing everything in Rome and then directly from Rome we are going back to Rimini because she had a flight to her house from Rimini okay at that point the Rimini airport was open so what happened is that she's like okay so this is my final day I wanted to make it big I'm like no because before it was not big okay before it was just like mm, party Ooh. okay so she's like no no let's make it big let's make it big this is my last day I'm like okay so we are going obviously to Cocorico. So I think there was Pitong or Deep Dish, who is, which was there at that point. And then from Cocorico, we went to Villa della Rosa. From Villa della Rosa, we went to Baia Imperiale. Yeah. So top 10 clubs. Me and her after days of partying. I was not standing. She was like, yeah, party. I'm like, <laughs> because at that point I was like super fanatic of huge ass heels. So I was literally like on oh, my fucking back, like seriously, I'm gonna die. And she was like nothing. She was like, yeah, bring it on. I'm like, oh, no, don't bring it, don't bring it on, don't. Yeah. After that, obviously, we are coming back to her hotel. I remind you that in all of that, my boss didn't knew shit about all of this. She was just knowing that she, the the buyer, is sleeping, and I'm just working out in the hotel with the with the loud music. Okay, so after that, once again, eight o'clock in the morning, we are going to her hotel, and I'm like, listen, I am going to eat, and then I'm going to at least wash my face and wash my clothes and to change my clothes, and uh, I'm going back uh, to work. And she's like, it's okay. Okay, so imagine me fifth day of the party five days without sleeping as such like I was sleeping like two hours a day or something I'm coming back to my work and I'm looking like shit I'm looking like like I think that at that point I was looking very very bad I didn't done any makeup I was pale white I was like literally more dead than alive literally and i was like drinking the coffee like trying to you know you know the tom and jerry when tom just like drinks the coffee because like 
he has to he has to wake up so I was like drinking the coffee I, I remember I shot like six espressos in like half an hour and then I'm, I'm like sitting at my chair and etc and I'm like my boss comes in she's like oh Ollie hi I'm like eh. good morning how are you <laughs> and she's like you you yeah I'm good but I don't think you are good so I'm like I'm fantastic I'm amazing yeah uh, life is beautiful and after my boss the buyer comes in this girl flats literally in, in in Havaianas like the bomb exploded on her head like also super destroyed and she didn't uh, remove the makeup so she was like literally look, looking like a clown after the the show with all of the mascara down you know the the lipstick was mess etc and my boss looks looks at me and she's like yeah you know Oli you don't look fresh look at our buyer she looks amazing today and the buyer like <laughs> And she was like kind of fainting. So I'm like, no, 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 wait, wait. I'm gonna bring you the coffee. And then my boss, she was like, something is wrong with our buy. I'm like, yeah, I, I think she, she got sick yesterday. That's why. And I told the girl like, don't say anything. She's gonna fire me. So obviously like the girl was like, no, I feel very sick it's been a period of huge stress for me i'm like yes both of us give me more money <laughs> so she's like oh my god yes yes that's amazing and she and my boss lady was so like sure that i was the only one who was like looking like shit and just like she i think she was like yeah, let's say to the buyer that she looks amazing because she was not. But yeah, let, let's just let, let's just um, fire the crackers, right? So that that was that was huge. But girl, after that, I swore that no matter what, I'm not going to go without the sleep and proper food for more than one day because no matter what I don't want to look like shit <laughs> but that was amazing that was one of the periods in my life in which I had super fun no matter what so that was a wrap that was like very very quick sorry for Molly I hope you liked it if you don't like it I'm sorry <laughs> next time will be better and uh, let me know what you think about it a part of my horrible look today I hope uh, you and your family are safe, so stay safe, wash your hands as usual, and kisses, social distancing hug, and once again, comment down below, like, subscribe, ring the bell, not ring the bell, jingle bell. Till the next time!